Hey guys, Spider Richard here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can stream using your Mac. Or at least how I stream using my Mac. Now, in order to stream, obviously, apart from your console and your TV and stuff like that, you're pretty much only going to need one thing, which is a capture card. Now, the card I'm using is the Elgato HD30, which I mentioned in my previous video about how to record videos for YouTube. And like I've said previously, it is a nifty little device that you plug your Xbox into and then you plug it into your TV and you run a USB from the capture card to your computer and it captures gameplay footage. Pretty simple stuff and if you've watched my previous videos, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, I'm sure I'll be able to include them in a little card up here somewhere or on that side. I can't quite remember which way around it goes. So if you'd like to watch that video, click on that. If you'd like to learn how to stream from your Mac, here we go. So like I said in the previous video, here is my capture card. This is my Elgato HD30 and it is plugged in from the Xbox. There's a wire and HDMI cable that goes up this little stand here into one side of the capture card and then the capture card goes from there into the TV just back here. Nice and easy. And there's also a wire that comes out from one side along my desk and goes into the other side of my da -da 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 MacBook here along with uh, my audio interface that I've got plugged in at the moment. So that is pretty much all you need in order to set up for streaming. Now I'm gonna be showing you a nice simple, simple uh, stream setup here. I'm not gonna be including my microphone and I'm not gonna be including a separate webcam, which you might want to include for your stream. But I'm just gonna be using the webcam on my computer and I'm just gonna be using the mic, which is built into the computer as well. But I'm sure you can apply the techniques that I'm going to show you to a sound card and to a, diff a separate webcam if you so wish. But anyway, let's carry on. Now let us take a look at the software side of things. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to recommend a tremendous tutorial which I watched in order to set up streaming on my Mac. And if you watch this, you will it will answer every single question that you can have about how to stream on your Mac using OBS, which is the program that I use. Now, I do things a little bit differently to the way that this video explains things and I will go over why I do that differently later on in the tutorial. But for now, let me show you where you can find this tutorial. So first we're going to go to YouTube and we are going to search for stream to Twitch on Mac. And uh, this should be the results that come up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down, 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 down until we see this video here, which has got this nice little background and the two logos of OBS and Apple. And uh, it is by Operation iDroid. Now, this tutorial is the one I watched when I was originally setting up my streaming stuff on my Mac. This guy goes into great detail and I think it's a fantastic video, which also shows you a couple of extra tricks which can help you make your stream look slightly professional. So I will include a link to his video down below. Now, after watching that video, if you've set up all the stuff on your Mac and, you're, and you have an older machine like I do, I have a MacBook Pro from the mid-2012 range, and as you're streaming, what you'll notice is because your computer is running so many things, it's running the Elgato capture software and it's running OBS and it's uploading the stream as you're actually going along, you'll notice that your computer gets incredibly hot and it does make your stream a lower quality. Now, if you've got a, a better computer, I'm guessing this guy who did the tutorials on an iMac or maybe even a MacBook, uh, a Mac Pro, I can't remember what the, the model's called, but maybe he's got a bit of a better computer and his runs absolutely fine. But I know for my gameplay, I cannot do this using my laptop, which I know a, lo a lot of the people in the comments who've asked for this video have said that they are using a laptop and that's why they're asking me how I do this. So let me show you how I overcame the problem of my computer overheating. And first, let me show you the problem that we actually have. So first, I'm going to go into the applications folder and I'm going to open OBS, which is Open Broadcast Software, which you can download from the OBS website. So if you just click in obsproject.com or if you just search OBS in Google or whatever search engine you're using, then this one should pop up and you can download OBS Studio and you can download it for Windows 7, OS X 9 Plus or Linux. So let us open OBS. Now this is open broadcast software and this is a uh, version 19.0.2 on the Mac. And let me just show you why we have an issue with streaming on our Mac using this for like long streams. Now what happens is OBS for some reason on the Mac does not allow you to capture directly from your capture card, which is the Elgato, which I showed you before 
So like if I click on this video capture right over here, instead of uh, having a bunch of options, just the webcam with my stupid face should pop up. So we'll click on this here. Yeah, so this is the properties for the video capture device that has just come up. Now you'll notice here under device, there should be a bunch of options where it says our video capture card and it says uh, maybe the webcam that we've got on the computer. But unfortunately, the video capture card is not there. So our gameplay footage is not going to the computer at all for some reason in the Mac side of things. So what we have to do in order to capture our gameplay footage is this. First, we open the Game Capture HD, which is for the Elgato. And once we've got that open, we go back to OBS and we have to capture our screen. So we're going to go for display capture. I'm going to click OK and then this is going to show up. And you can see how things are getting a bit confusing already. So your computer is going to be doing all of this. What we're going to do is we're going to capture just a specific bit of the window, the gameplay footage and we're going to have OBS running and streaming at the same time. And you can see this is already getting a very, like quite hectic and why it's going to tax our computer a lot. So I just thought I'd show you that before I begin showing you how I do it. Now, the workaround that I've found for this problem is probably something that people do not want to hear. And it is that you have to use a little thing called Boot Camp to install Windows 10 on your machine. And like I said before, unfortunately, this is not going to be completely free because you're going to have to pay for Windows 10. And Windows 10 is not actually that expensive. Look, you can get it here for $19.99 from Software Geeks. So once you've bought your copy of Windows 10, you are going to install the, the install file on a USB hard drive, which you can then use to install Boot Camp on your Mac. Sounds complicated. Believe me, it is not. There are plenty of tutorials on uh, YouTube if you just search for Boot Camp. Windows 10 Mac. There's plenty of guides on here which will show you exactly how to do it. And pretty much all of these will say the exact same thing. It couldn't be simpler. Once you've installed Windows on your boot camp, you are going to want to restart your computer. Hold down the option key when the computer restarts and select the hard drive, well, the side of the computer you want to log into, either the Windows or the OS X. And we are going to log into Windows. So we're going to click restart, hold down the option key, and boot up into Windows. So like I said, what you're going to do is you're going to restart your computer. And then once it's restarting, you're going to ignore me dancing, hold down the option key, which is next to the Apple key. And eventually a couple of hard drives will appear on your computer. Now these are the Macintosh side of your computer, the Windows side of your computer, and the recovery drive. I don't really know what that one is. Simply select the Windows side of your computer. You can either click or use the arrow keys and press enter or click it and it should boot up and once again, ignore me dancing. Then once your computer is booted up, you will be able to use Windows, yeah. Now that we've logged into the Windows side of our machine, what we're gonna first need to do is we are gonna first need to download the software that we need in order to stream. So we're gonna go to our Edge browser. You should be able to find it. Uh, I've got mine at the bottom here in the taskbar, but I'm pretty sure yours will be inside here somewhere, or you could just search for it in here. So once you've done that, you're gonna search for OBS in Bing or Google or whatever search engine you're using, and hopefully, this should pop up, the OBS project, which is the website you're going to need to go to to download OBS Studio, which is the software that we're going to be using in order to stream to Twitch. Now that we've got a copy of OBS and we've installed it on our machine, we are going to open OBS. And once it is open, you will see a window that looks like this. Now, let's, so let's quickly go over a few things. This is, a, this is the menu bar up here where you're going to have your file, edit, view, profile, scene selection, tools, and help. But you probably will not need to know anything to do with uh, these things for now if you're just trying to set up a very basic stream. So let us uh, move on to our buttons down here. Now, these are the buttons. This is the button saying start streaming. Pretty self-explanatory. This is the one that's going to start your stream. Start recording. You can also use OBS to record videos and you've got studio mode here, don't know what that does, settings, which will take you to the settings tab, which you can fiddle with to get your stream exactly how you want it, and exit, which will just close the program. Over here to the left, we have the mixer, where you're going to get a bunch of sliders, which you can use to mix the audio correctly, so whether your stream's like a bit too loud, you can knock that down, whether it's too quiet, you can knock it up, and uh, you can use this to control all the audio that is being sent out to the internet. Over here, we've got sources. That includes our gameplay footage and webcam. 
And over here we've got scenes where you can set up, the scenes controls the sources. So you say you've got a scene and you've got a bunch of sources in that scene, you can have another scene underneath with a bunch of different sources and flick between the two if you so wish. But we will go all over this again later on. So for now, let's take a look at the settings that you need in order to stream like I do. So we're gonna click on the settings tab and this is gonna be the first thing we get. So this is the general settings, and for language we've got English, theme we've got default, sometimes I like to put it on the dark theme, however I do think I'm going to stick with the default for now because it'll look a bit more like yours and maybe make things a little easier. So underneath we've got a bunch of tiggy boxes, and I have just, I think I've left all these exactly how they were when I first opened the program, so if yours aren't like this, you can set them up like this, if you don't want to, then I'm pretty sure you don't have to. Now let's move on to the second tab, which is stream, with one of the most important things in it, our stream key. So for start streaming, first we're gonna click streaming service, and we're gonna click our service which we want to use. Now you can select whichever one you're streaming to right here. We're gonna be streaming to Twitch, so we're gonna select Twitch, and we're gonna choose the server which is nearest to us. Now I am in the UK, so I'm gonna select the London UK server. And last but not least on this page, we need our stream key. This is incredibly important. This is the number that's going to allow us to uh, stream from OBS to the website. This is going to connect your profile. Well, this is going to connect OBS to your profile on Twitch. If you don't have this in, your stream will not work. So how do we get our stream key? First off, we need to go to Twitch. So we're going to open our Edge browser and we are going to go to Twitch. And uh, you probably won't land on this page, you'll probably land on uh, this page, I think this is the home page for Twitch. And before that video loads, hopefully, we're going to click over here on our profile and we're going to go to Dashboard. And once our Dashboard has loaded, we are going to go along to here where it says Dashboard and underneath there's going to be a tab called Settings. Once we've clicked on Settings, we're going to go to Stream Key and then we're going to click on this button that says Show Key. Now. Never share your stream key with anyone or show it on stream. Twitch staff, admins, or global moderators will never ask you for this information. So do not show anybody this. I'm not gonna show you mine, because if I do, someone's gonna nick it and someone's gonna try stream as me. And that's bad. So you're gonna click this button. Your stream key is gonna appear in a dialog box underneath here somewhere. Just copy and paste that into this thing on OBS. You can show it just to make sure it's the same one. And once you've done that, that should be all set up and you can click apply and not worry about that. So let us move on to our next tab. So for output, I've got it set to advanced mode. I believe I did this because I was setting up a recording video using OBS, which uh, didn't work out quite how I planned it. So maybe you don't need to be in advanced mode, but I am. And you can copy all these settings if this is what you want. I think the bit rate is something that's quite important. You might want to keep that about 2,000, 2,500 if you want. Those are just some ballpark numbers that I got off the, uh, the tutorial video that I recommended early on. Probably a good idea to keep it around there somewhere. So once you've copied these settings, you're going to go to audio and you're going to keep it on 44.1 kilohertz and you're going to stick it to stereo. If you're recording from, if you're streaming and you're using an audio interface to have a mic plugged in, then you might want to change it to mono because I'm pretty sure if you leave it like this, your audio for your mic will come out of one side of the headphones and your audio for the game will come out of both sides. So you might want to change that to mono. I don't know if you have that issue where you stream, where your audio for your mic is coming out of one side, that could be the problem. After that, we're gonna disable all of these because we don't need any of these just yet. On to our next tab, which is video. And we're gonna make our base canvas 1280 by 720. Again, this is for my computer that I'm making these settings. You can make yours 1080p if you really want. If you think your computer can handle it, go for it by all means. These are just the, the settings that work for me and get my stream consistent and doesn't tax my computer. So I've got my output resolution to the same as my base resolution, so there's no converting between resolutions or anything there, keeping it all consistent. And we've got downscale and filter, we've got bicubic sharpening, sharpened scaling, 16 samples. I don't know what that is, but that's the one I've got it set to. And we've got our frames per second set to 30 because my capture card is the HD30 and does not do 60 frames a second. If yours does, you can by all means choose 60 frames, but I like to keep mine at 30. Underneath this, we have the hotkeys as well. And you can use this to set up if you want your stream to start by 
tap in the letter S, you can do that. If you don't want to, just leave it. I personally do not have any hotkeys set up for my stream. And under advance, I'm pretty sure these are all exactly the same as when I first opened OBS, so I don't think you need to worry about that. If your stream doesn't work for whatever reason, try copying some of these and that might solve the problem. But I'm pretty sure I didn't change any of these advanced settings. Now, once we have done all of that and we have completed this part of the tutorial, we are gonna click apply to save all of these settings. And then we're gonna click okay. So now that we've run over the settings for OBS, let us create a scene. So we're gonna go over here and yours should probably say scene or scene one or something like that. I've renamed mine to Twitch stream. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add ourselves our gameplay footage. So first go to the sources part here and we're gonna click on this plus at the very bottom and we're gonna go video capture device. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click okay after creating a new one and we are going to choose Elgato HD game capture. And once we've done this, our gameplay footage should pop up. So you can see here I've got seven days that I open. And once we've done that, we're gonna go to we're gonna go resolution frames per second. We're gonna go custom to the end here, and we're gonna click down and we're gonna choose 128 by 720. After this, we're gonna go down, 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 and we're gonna choose 30 frames per second because that's how much our thing is set to. And I'm pretty sure you can just leave the rest of these settings how they are. So you're gonna click OK, and this should put the gameplay footage inside our stream previewer. So I'm just going to quickly unpause my game and have a, a deaky doodle, see if that's worked. We're going to go, oh, 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 there we go. Look at that. How awesome is that? We've got our gameplay footage in OBS. Nice. And now that we've put our gameplay footage in there, you can see we've got the gameplay video. We've got the gameplay audio over here. So if I unpause my device, you should be able to hear. Well, if I unpause my game, you should be able to see the slider has got a little green bar on it now and you can go, you can turn the slider down if you want the gameplay footage to be quieter, if you want the gameplay footage to be louder, you can do that and that is so simple to do, really easy. The next thing that we're gonna add is our webcam. So for this, we're gonna click on the plus and we're gonna go to add video capture device. And we're gonna click okay and my ugly mug should pop up. There I am, hello everybody. And we're gonna choose the webcam. It should be in this drop down menu. And then we're gonna to go to resolution and we're gonna go custom. And what we're gonna do for this one, because it's our webcam and I like to keep it in the corner and it's gonna be smaller, we don't need it that big. So we're gonna choose a nice small resolution like 640 by 480. So we're gonna leave the rest of the things just under here as they are. And there's one other thing that we need to change just at the bottom here, which is the audio capture mode. So we're gonna change the audio capture mode to, we're gonna click this ticky box here and we're gonna choose custom device. And what we've got is we've got a microphone which is in our computer, so we're gonna choose that, and we're gonna click okay. Now, if you've got a different source of uh, audio, what you'll need to do is you'll need to not select that Tiggy box, and you'll need to select the audio interface that you're using from somewhere else in the settings tab. And that will allow you to set up a, a microphone like this one. And I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials out there that will cover that, but for my streams, I do not use one. So you can see here now that we've got two little sliders down here and we've got one here, we can control the gameplay and the webcam volume. I should really rename them so I know what they are. So we've got device number one. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click rename. I have to right clicking on it and I'm gonna call this webcam. And underneath, I've got the video capture device here. I wanna rename that gameplay footage or gameplay. There we go, nice and simple. Now they're nice and nice and organized. So you can see exactly which slider does what. So the next thing that we're gonna to need to do, you'll notice that I am quite large and in the corner of this screen and covering most of the gameplay footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit that. We're gonna click on our webcam and we're gonna make me a bit smaller. So first off, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on the webcam itself and I'm just gonna drag this little thing down here and make myself nice and small and in the corner. There we go. Nice and easy, couldn't be simpler, could it? And also an, an interesting little thing to do, which should be in the other video if you have watched it, which I would thoroughly recommend, is you can crop the side of this and uh, you can do, a, actually you can do a bunch of things to it. So if you click on any of these scenes that you, you've got down here, like webcam, if you right click on it, you will notice there is 
a little section called transform. You can go edit transform and you can change a bunch of stuff. You can change the position of where things are. You can change the rotation. You can, uh, ooh, what was that? You can align stuff. You can see what box type it is. And this is something that's quite important as well. See your webcam is a bit too big and you can't get right in the middle of it. You want to crop a little bit out because you can see right here, I've got a bit of empty space. You can click on crop left and you can adjust the numbers. Whoa, the walls are closing in. So you've got a nice small little webcam in the corner, which doesn't distract from a lot of the gameplay gameplay footage and give you a bigger window to play with. So I'm just going to close that there. And there you can see I'm nice and small in the corner and not as distracting as I was before, where I was huge and in the middle and in the way. So one more thing you might need to know while we are sorting out this stream, is you might need to go onto the webcam and you will notice that when you watch your stream back, there is a bit of a delay between your audio and your webcam and your game. Now, what this is caused by is the Elgato has a one second delay built into it. So it, it makes it a bit easier to capture. So what we do is, in order to combat this delay, what we do is we need to delay our webcam and our audio by one millisecond. So, because our audio device is being captured from the webcam, like we said before, which is down at the bottom here. You can see here, the microphone's on this bit. What we can do is we can click OK, and then we can right click again and go to filters. Now this is very important, this is where this is. This is in the filter section. And we go on video, audio, filter. We click the plus button, and we choose video delay. Now what we do is we just click OK, and you can choose how many milliseconds that is delayed by down here. So I said it's a one second delay on the Elgato. So what we need to do is we need to make a 1000 millisecond delay. And what you'll notice is that now my webcam is delayed and it looks weird. Look, I'm gonna count, I'm, I'm gonna show numbers on fingers. Look, one, two, three, four. See, how delayed was that? So anyway, if you've got a delay, that's why that is. And now that is completely sorted. It's kind of trippy watching the delay. And um, I think that is it, guys. So once you've got that set up and you've got your audio down there set up, you might need to adjust these a bit after being on stream for a while. People will tell you, oh, the gameplay footage is a bit loud. You're a bit loud. You're a bit quiet. Or you can watch a stream back and see just how, like, just what the levels are and you can adjust accordingly. I would advise doing a couple of test ones, talk, have your gameplay footage going, and you can, you can pretty much work it out from that. So the only thing you need to know is how to start. So you press this button where it says start streaming in the bottom right hand corner, that'll start your stream. And once you press start, it'll change to say stop streaming. So you press that to stop as well. And that is pretty much it. That is everything. That's all the stuff that I do in order to stream. Now there is extra things you can do. Like you can put, uh, you can put, uh, what, like little annotations on here that pop up when people do certain things. You can also add like overlays to your webcam and to your gameplay footage, but I don't really do any of that stuff, and there's plenty of tutorials that will show you exactly how to do that out there, which are a lot better than the tutorials I'm doing. So I'm just going to leave this one here. And you don't have to worry about saving any of this, because OBS will automatically save it, and it will open with all of this exactly how it was set up. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been my tutorial on how to stream using your Mac. I hope this has at least answered some of your questions and has helped people out. If you've got any more suggestions for videos, let me know in the comments. Remember to leave a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed my videos and uh, I will see you in the next one.